Hello all, welcome to oratrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about master child report using Excel template. So let us get into the steps required to design this template. So generally, like for any kind of template, you always require a data model. Then you have to get the sample data from the data model. And then we have to design the template by inserting fields and repeat fields and repeating group. And then we have to test the template. So these are the high level four steps. And the very important thing is how do we prepare a data model for a master child report? So let me show how it looks like in our case. So in this particular sample, we just have two data groups. One is for the party, another one is accounts. Party is a master, account is a child, and they are linked by a column called party A. This is a data model which we are trying to target to design. And the next thing is layout. So on the top level, you have the party details. In the below, you have account details. So for every party, you will see the account. So this is a target output, we are try trying to get it. So the party details, account details, and same thing will get repeated. Party, account, party, account. So now let us start with the designing the data model. Okay, so now let's get the query. So the query which we are, the query for our master is like uh, getting the party data. Here I have just hard coded wantedly so that you know like uh, our report will not be flooded with the data. Simply I just hard coded two sample set of party numbers. So in the party, in the like the initial query, the master query, we just have a party number party name, party type, status, as well as party ID. So now what we do, let us design the parent query first. So I'll just refresh our analytics first. And now let us create a data model, new data model. So I'll name it as, so in the inside our trainings folder, I'll just say master details. Excel data model. Okay. So the first thing is let us copy our master query, nothing but party. So click on plus symbol, SQL query, mention the SQL query, select application DBFSEM, and I will name it as party, party underscore queue. These are party data. Next one is yeah, very important thing is, so in the child also, we require a party ID, right? So you have to perform a link between the child and master, nothing but party and accounts. So in the, in the child table, make sure that you'll not mention, don't mention the same column name, just make sure that you have a alias, a different alias compared to your, par comparing to your parents. So we have a party ID in the accounts, but I want to rename it as account underscore party ID. Okay, this is a very important step. Now let us design the accounts query. Okay, so this is, so party ID, we'll try to link between account party ID, that's it. You can just click on this particular information and it shows how it is linked, g underscore one dot party ID is equal to g underscore two dot account party ID. So better have a proper group name, so I'll just preferably change the group names, click on properties, click on the gear icon, click on properties, and I'll mention it as g party, like this, Okay, and next one, properties, I'll name it as G accounts. This is my group name. So click on structure. You can see that like a, for a party query, for under, under the party, we have accounts queue, right? Under, under G underscore party, we have G underscore accounts. This is how, when the get data gets generated, G underscore party will be parent, G, G under accounts will be the children. So click on data, view, And you can just see some data here now. Right? So this is our account number. That's our party number. We have account numbers. We have site numbers, site use code, and account site use number, account party ID. Okay. Now let's save it. Export it. This step has generated the sample XML from our data model. Now, using this particular one, what we do, we'll design our template. So copy here. Now what we do, let us open the Excel sheet. Create new Excel sheet and save it as. Make sure that you select the appropriate file extension. Now 
master child excel tmpf and the first data what we require so i'll name it as party data wrap merchant center i'll say party details okay and now what we want to show we just want to show the party data so we can just simply copy these columns of the party or we can just simply show only party number and name that should be fine so i'll simply show only two columns of party party number plus party name okay now prepare the master data first okay so for the party number so first of all what you have to do we have just designed the layout but we have not inserted the fields right click on be a publisher sample xml select the data xml which we got just now select this xml and now click on field at this point of time it will create a metadata sheet as of now simply click on ok now this particular field what we want to display party number and the next one is party name that's it two fields we want it and now make sure that you create a repeating group for this particular for this master so now we just you no know, very important thing is we just not not only want to display the master data we want to display the child data so what we have to do is don't create a master group right away create a child data also now what we do is just below this one i'll just try to create one more header i'll say account details Now copy the child columns. Okay. Better will color it appropriately. Okay, now, so this is child data, click on be a publisher, field, now select the account number here, next party site name, this one, next one, party site number, this field, next site use code, and then account site use number. Okay, done, and now, Create the repeating group for the child, okay? Create the repeating group for the child. Click on repeating group and simply select G underscore account. So now we have created a repeating group for child. Now similarly, create the repeating group for parent, but at this point of time, we have to create, we have to select both parent as well as child. So now what I'm doing, I'm selecting the parent as well as child also. And here, if you observe, I just selected one more extra line so that while displaying the next party data, so you'll have one more, one extra line between them. Click on repeating group and simply select G party. Nothing to change, no other selection required. Click on okay and save it. And let us see the preview. That's it. So party data, account data. Right. And some more formatting we can display if required. So now, next step is you can simply register it. Save this one, click on new report. Select use report editor, click on finish. Okay, the data model was not selected. Ideally, it has to get selected, but sometimes it may have a you know, like issue. So, master details Excel DM. Select this one, click on finish. And it's asking to save master detail Excel prep. Okay. It got saved, but now we have to upload our template. Click on upload, select the template file.
master child excel template excel and layout output name we'll just go with output locale english save it now click on view report Let's open the output right so we got the parent data nothing but party details and respective account details so we can add up some more features like you know adding a parameter and all those things but as of now i just simply hard coded so but things you can change it the only important thing is the columns of the master and child should be different if they are same better just have the appropriate alias so that you'll not have any issue while getting the output okay this is all about master detail report in Excel sheet using Excel sheet template in Oracle Fusion ERP. Thank you.